song, right? Well, if you got a bunny for Easter, uh, a lot of people are now regretting that decision. Maybe it seemed like a good idea. Our guests for today's Pet of the Week segment say, whatever you do, do not turn them loose in the yard. We want to welcome Swaz Forsyth and Gretchen Underwood of Rabbit Wranglers, along with Quartz, a former Easter bunny himself. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So rabbits really do make wonderful pets, mm -hmm. and you guys are going to tell us more about that. But a lot of families will rush into that decision thinking it's a cute idea for their children. I know the same thing happens with little chicks, mm -hmm. and then exactly. you have chickens. So, so tell us a little bit more about the problem that you run into around this time of year. So um, we find a lot of um, impulse buying around Easter time and people will um, jump into purchasing a rabbit for their children and not realize what um, needs that they have. Um, rabbits actually can live anywhere from uh, 12 to 15 years. Wow. Um, so you have to have uh, a plan uh, after Easter <laughs> to be able to take care of the rabbits. And they're wonderful animals. And um, we, uh, we work really hard with the public to make sure that um, they're prepared um, so we can help you out. If you made that decision and um, uh, aren't sure of what you need to do, we can definitely help you through that. But if you decide that it's not something that you want to do, um, there, are, there are other options other than leaving them out in the backyard. A lot of people think that if you set them out free in the backyard that um, they'll survive just like the eastern cottontails out there, but they don't. No, we've, we've breeded or we bred their um, instincts out of them to be able to survive. So tell us about Quartz. Where is he from? Um, Quartz is actually, uh, she was destined to be a, an Easter bunny. Um, we actually took him from a family who was breeding them for Easter. Um, and now we have um, him and his 22 closest friends um, that were also destined to either be um, current Easter bunnies or former Easter bunnies. Um, and uh, we, we have them working, we're working to get them into individual homes. And that's what he's available for, is available for adoption. Very calm. Um, yeah. He, he looks like he'd be a fun little pet for the house. Yeah, Gretchen was his foster mom. Oh, great. I think one of the biggest things that people don't recognize is how quickly two can turn into 20. Right. And so, you know, when you've got that many rabbits, it's a lot of, you know, you don't have friends that want rabbits right. that they've now got to take care of. So knowing what you're getting into, making sure that you've got a plan, making sure you spay and neuter so Very that you important. don't have that many rabbits. But I mean, he was a delight as a foster rabbit. And, uh, you know, having a pet that you know what you're getting into, that you are able to provide space for them to run, he really likes to jump up on top of boxes Aww. and be at eye level with you so that he can see you and interact with you. Uh, when I was holding him in my lap earlier, he just kind of melts in right. and loves to be petted. But if you ignore him, he's going to be a disappointment both you know, for a, as a family pet and he's, he's going to be disappointed with you. So I, I know that there are a lot of um, care techniques that you guys provide and mm -hmm. information. One thing that is really interesting and for families who maybe do have an Easter bunny at their house that is rapidly growing, they can be litter trained. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh yeah. I that's, think that's the so first thing. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. first thing that they actually do. Um, people will oftentimes take credit for that, but rabbits actually have to feel safe to eliminate. So they'll go in a corner. Um, and then we, we always just tell people it's easiest to just put the litter box there as compared to putting the litter box where you want it to go and the rabbit like kind of might resist and not be litter trained. But yeah, they do it themselves. Right. Well, thank you guys so much. I, I just want to throw this out there so we get this out there. If you do need to rehome, do not do it on Craigslist, you suggest. Right. Contact your organization. Yeah, we, okay. we, we, re we definitely recommend that. There are so many shelters that are there okay. to help. Great. Thank you, ladies, thank so you. much. And thank you, Quartz, for coming on today. To find out more about owning or rehoming rabbits like Quartz, you can visit the Rabbit Wranglers website. You'll find that link at kdk.com slash PTL. And keep watching for more stories on fostering or adopting pets every Monday here on PTL as part of our featured Pet of the Week segments.